Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree, welcome to another planty video. Today I want to talk about some plants, some plant type things that would make a great gift. So I know some people might not like to receive a plant as a gift because you think like you want to pick it out, you want to like bond with it, find the one that speaks to you the most, but I think giving someone a plant as a gift, I, I love the idea. But of course you got to make sure they have an interest in plants, at least a passing interest, like you've gone to their house and you've seen a few plants around, maybe a peace lily or a pothos or something like that, a cactus. Make sure they already like plants and know that they have to take care of it because I know I've said this a few times on my channel, but I used to think house plants were like cut flowers, like you just have it until it dies and then you buy a new one. That's actually literally what I thought. So make sure the person you're gifting this plant to knows how to take care of plants, already has a few that they already care for. That you're, and if you end up giving this to someone that isn't very interested in plants, make sure it's something you didn't spend a ton of money on and are okay seeing perish in their care possibly. Um, but also, of course, don't gift a plant to somebody that doesn't care about plants, they're not interested, they don't really ask you questions about yours because most likely they're gonna treat it like it's cut flowers, kind of like I did. So I have four plants I wanna mention and then a couple of other things I think would be really awesome gifts. But first, I have to give a shout out to Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand. These would also make really great gifts. They're doing a buy one get one half off sale starting today, the 6th through December 20th on their website. Everything's buy one get one half off. They're also doing a sale on their gift sets for half off. Those are the ones I have my eye on because they have some really, really good ones. They're like little bundles where they'll do like a ring and a bracelet and some earrings together in a little bundle. So half off on those is definitely the best value. They are the earrings I wear every single day. Like I have four earrings in each ear, all of them from Ana Luisa. I've had them in forever. I take them out, clean them and stuff, but I shower with them, keep them in for a long time. I bought most of these last year during the Black Friday sale. Um, and they also sent me three pieces. So I want to show you these quickly in case you need any more gift ideas. A little piece of jewelry, a nice easy going plant, perfect gift, you know. So even if they let the plant die, they still have the nice jewelry, you know. So this was the first thing that they sent me. And I was so excited to get these. These are their little safety pin earrings. I freaked out because I have the safety pin necklace and I wore the heck out of it, but I took it off because I was wearing it in the shower and everything and I started getting worried. I don't know, I was I wore it for a long time and I still have it, I'll bring it out again, but I was so excited to get these. Like I'm gonna put these on right now. They do go through the ear, so it's like you have a safety pin on, just like the nicest little touch of delicate punk rock and I really, really like that. And everything does come in its own little storage bag as well. I also got this little bracelet. This is the Lucy bracelet. And this one looks so small, but it actually fits my wrist big. I mean, you could tighten it up and make it smaller, but on the biggest one, it's actually big on my wrist. Can you even see that? It's really cute, really delicate. So if you're not like too into neck bracelets and stuff, nothing too out there, this is the cutest little thing. It would also make a nice anklet. I like that. Or is it an anklet? I don't remember if this was a bracelet or an anklet, but you know what? You can wear it however you want. You know what I mean? And then the last thing is in another one of these nice little bags. And I do save all of these. I have everything stored in these bags individually, like my other earrings and stuff that I've purchased from them. This is the Jamie bracelet. And I really, really like this one. It's just like a chain link, kind of almost like paper clips. So cute and it's that super like yellow gold. I never used to like gold. I always thought it was like too mature, I guess. I always liked silver as a kid, but now I think silver, silver is just not for me. I'm all about the gold now. I think it looks awesome. I also have a 20% off code with them. You can't use it in conjunction with the buy one, get one half off sale, um, but it never expires. So I'll link it in the description box in case you want to get something any other time of year, they're not doing a site-wide sale. But anyway, thanks again for Ana Luisa for sending those pieces over. I love them. It'll go perfectly with all the other stuff I already have that's Ana Luisa. Uh, but now let's start talking about the plants. So the first one, you know, you know, I had to mention the Global Green Pothos. I had to. It would be wrong for me not to mention this plant. I cannot get enough of this plant. I think it's just a stunner. I mean, look at it. Look how awesome this grows. I mean, it does have two long vines that I just kind of um, 
I was letting them trail on the table, but I love the way they look just kind of laying up here because it makes it look more like wild. I love the growth habit of this one. I love the way that it vines. This leaf shape is on another level. It's got gorgeous green on green variegation, very subtle. So it's nothing too wild or too crazy in case the person you're gifting a plant to, they just like it. They like the plant to be part of the decor as well. Like they're not having their house taken over by plants like a lot of us are. Uh, this plant would be perfect on an end table, on a bookshelf. It's just gonna grow so beautifully. You could keep like laying it on top of itself, letting it trail down a shelf. Um, I also think this one would make a great gift because you can kind of have it in any sort of lighting situation. Uh, this one gets a little more light than the other one I have, so this one's grown a lot more. Uh, but you can also have it in like a little bit of a lower light situation. It won't grow as fast, but it'll still do perfectly fine. You could give it a lot more light. It'll grow a lot faster for you. It can take a little bit of drought. Like I've let this one get dry as a bone with no issue. Bounces right back once it's watered. I think this would make an awesome gift. It's so beautiful. Like I want to give this to everybody. I think it's awesome. And I found this at Lowe's. It was 20 bucks with the pot as well. The ones I've been seeing there lately, they're not this full, but they're like big full plants. I see them there all the time. So I don't know if your, Lo your Lowe's carries the plants like this all the time, but um, if you're looking to gift this to somebody or gift it to yourself, check out Lowe's for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. Oh, such a gorgeous plant. Okay. There are so many reasons this plant would make a great gift. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. This thing is so beautiful. It's growing this long vine with like a big old gap with no leaf on it. So it looks kind of funny just hanging there. I might cut that off and propagate it, I think. Um, anyway, this plant is beautiful. This would make a great gift because, I mean, look at it. It looks like a living piece of art. It has this beautiful, beautiful design on the leaves. The leaves feel thick and leathery. Like this feels like it's made out of fabric. Like it might not be real, you know? Um, this would make a great gift because it can take low light. It can take high light. It likes to be dried out. I let this one get dry as a bone. And then I let the leaves kind of get a little curled under. I did a whole video on this plant if you want to see what it looks like when it needs water. They get, like right now, you can see the leaf looks flat. When they're thirsty, they'll start rolling up, like really getting curly. Um, and it can take that for a little while. Like this is a plant that's definitely for someone that doesn't have a lot of time to take care of plants. Like the, maybe the ones you've seen in their house already are like super easy care. Maybe they got a golden pothos, they got a snake plant, stuff like that. This would be a perfect addition for someone that wants something low maintenance, but beautiful. Like this looks like a high maintenance plant, doesn't it? It looks like this would be a lot of trouble. And I found this for $12.99 at the grocery store. Like I left a sticker on there because I couldn't believe the price. It was $12.99 for this hanging basket. It has gotten bigger since I've got it, but it was big and lush and full like this. And then I went store to store trying to find more of them, but I only found the one. So keep your eye out at the grocery store. That's where I found this. You don't need to pay an arm and a leg for something really beautiful. Especially if you want to gift it as a gift. This is just, you cannot go wrong with a plant like this, especially for someone who is low maintenance in their plant care. This can't go wrong with this. I mean, I just want to hold it in the video forever. So pretty. Cool. I'm just going to layer those. I think that looks cute. This like super delicate one and then this big like chain link one. That looks super, super cute. Okay. The next thing I want to mention is a plant that is definitely like a set it and forget it plant. These next two I'm going to mention are plants that are like just a living piece of art that you really don't have to pay a lot of attention to. Of course, they're still living things. You need to water them at least a couple times a year. In my experience, like I've only watered these a couple times a year and they've done just fine. Um, these are for someone that maybe has a very busy lifestyle. Maybe you've seen the plants in their house. Like I said, they got some cactus. They got a sense of area or snake plant or something like that. I think that person would love a ZZ Zenzi. This is one of my favorite plants I've ever purchased. I love the way that it looks. So it grows these thick, like they feel like succulent. This is another plant you would almost think it's fake. Like if you gave this to somebody, they would go, oh, thanks for the fake plant. Um, it's so beautiful though, because it really just looks like living art. I love this pot I put in it. it I put it in, it's, it was only five bucks at Target. I got it during the summer though, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled next year for more of these beautiful pots. But this plant is very, very low maintenance. 
I've only watered it a couple of times. Like I just watered it the other day, so it's still like rehydrating here. I want to say I've watered this twice, maybe three times since I got it, and I got it in May of this year. No, I haven't watered it three times. I want to say I've watered it twice, and I got it earlier this year. So it doesn't need a lot. It, it's in like a low-ish light situation. I have it sitting on my baker's rack in my kitchen, and it just sits there loving life. It's a beautiful plant, definitely one for someone that, um, you know, has like a very busy lifestyle, but they still want some plants in their house, some greenery. This would be perfect for like a coffee table, a side table, their desk, just something to bring them a little bit of green joy throughout the day, but they don't have to worry about it. They can easily go on vacation and not worry that their plants are gonna die when they get home because this one kind of likes to be dried out, you know? Okay, one more that is like living art. Okay, I gotta mention like a really funky snake plant. This one I think is called Bonsel or Bonsel. I also hear it called starfish or it's gonna call it starfish. And we're gonna turn it that way so you don't have to see that label. Um, this one is really cool. This is one that is not gonna grow very fast. Like the actual thing here, I don't think has grown since I've had it, but it has grown this entire new plant in the back right here. And this plant sits on that shelf. It's next to the window. It doesn't get bright afternoon light like the other plants do in this room. It just kind of gets ambient light, but it's growing a full plant back there. So it will continue to grow, but it's not going to get a lot bigger, especially the one here that's already kind of established. It's going to take a long time to do that anyway. This is another one that just looks like a piece of art. Like it's just going to sit there on their desk, maybe on their coffee table with underneath, like on top of some books and just be really cute and beautiful and something you can water just a couple times a year. At least that's been my experience. I'm guessing unless you have this in a lot of light where it's getting really, really dry and a lot of heat all the time, um, you don't really have to water this a whole lot. I mean, these thick, thick stems hold a lot of water in there. And I think this would make a really great gift again for a really busy person. And this one, the ultimate funky Sansevieria or the funky snake plant. I think this is called Fernwood. I really don't know what it's called. I found this at Home Depot. This was one of my first plants I ever bought and it has grown like crazy. Like these tall pieces here were just, they were just shooting up so fast. I couldn't believe it. It's put out a ton of new little babies down here. So I guess I, you know, you could take these out and give someone a tiny little plant, but I like the way the new ones look in there trying to grow. This is another one I don't water very often, but I did have this one in a really good light situation. So it was just shooting up with growth. So this is another one, like a living piece of art, but very, very low maintenance. Like this looks like it'd be a high maintenance plant just because of how wild it looks, but very, very, very low maintenance, likes to be dried out, likes to stay dry for a while. You can put it in low light, put it in high light. It'll do just well for you either way. I love this one. This is one of my favorite, favorite plants that I own, like period. Okay, and then the last two things I wanna mention are definitely for the planty person in your life. Someone who really likes plants, they have a bunch of them in their house, they have some really cool exotic varieties. Um, they see your plants and they really like them. Get them a gift card to a place that they've always wanted to shop for or from. Like for me, for example, two places I've always wanted to buy a plant from is the Victorian in Atlanta and Succulents Empire. Succulents Empire, like I follow them on Instagram and I'm just like, drooling over the plants that they have. They have some wild looking plants. They're big, they buy huge ones, they buy all kinds of uncommon varieties, and I would love to buy a plant from there. So if you have like a really planty person in your life, I don't even know if they sell gift cards actually, do they? They have to sell gift cards, right? Get them a gift card from there or give them an amount of money to spend and tell them, pick something in this budget, I'll buy it for you. Um, that would be an awesome gift, but also, some cuttings from your own collection would be awesome. So this isn't a gift for anybody, it's just mine, but I just wanted to share an example. So I recently cut my philodendron bobsy. I cut four leaves off because it was just getting too stretched out and too tall. It was all the way up there by the vent already, by the heater. And so I cut four of the leaves off. Two of them rotted immediately and died because I put them in soil. And there isn't a lot out there on Philodendron Bob C. Like there's a handful of videos, a handful of blog posts and they're really old. Um, but every single one of those said to put them in soil right away. So I put two in soil, they rotted right away. And I put two in water, 
and these ones are doing great. They do have some roots that are growing here. They're doing awesome. I gotta change this water. But this is a really cool plant, a very uncommon variety. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, but I think this would be an awesome gift. Like these two have roots on them. I cut them, I could gift them to somebody, especially if they're already like really into plants. Cut them, cut them one of your cool varieties, give them a cutting, I'm sure they would love it. And it didn't cost you any money. Um, but anyway, that is it. Those are the plants I think would make awesome gifts. Plants I think would make great gifts for the person that has a passing interest in plants. They have some in their house. They're not like super into plants. And then a couple things I think would be great for someone that is very into plants. Um, but yeah, that is it. Let me know what you think. Let me know what some of the plants you love to receive as a gift or that you've given as a gift maybe. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa and their buy one get one half off sale that starts today and half off all of their gift sets. I can't believe that sale. That's the one I'm checking out. Anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one and I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.